Hey guys, welcome to another stream of Dragon Quest V. I'm Leg Shots. Um, gonna go in and get into it. Probably, probably won't be on too long today. Just want to grind a little bit. Um, yeah, and just uh, set myself up for later. Could use some money so that I can. I need forty. Um, you're new to the channel. Feel free to uh, like and follow um, for your platform you're watching on. Um, yeah, so I just like to play. Um, a lot of JRPGs, especially the classic ones. Um, once I finish this run through, I might switch over to other JRPGs, including Dragon Quest XI um, on the PS4. We'll see about that. So I think where we left off, I have to go find the, um, the Buddha plant, the herb that'll make me learn uh, spell Buddha, or I think in English it's called Return. I fly to different um, different towns. Right now I'm stuck in this area because I can't. There's no boat that'll take me back. Honestly, I can't remember what to do after this area, so... Yeah. That was a good spell. Elma? Really good. Yeah. There's something on the... If I go, like, around... Um, I know I can catch the puppet dance. Right. I try to recruit. Marionette. <laughs> that was Almost night time. Get to the edge of the island. Um, I don't remember the exact spot. Paying attention, so we'll just have to find it. My map. Either up here or down the down the left, maybe. Ooh. That is hurt. It's bottom. Of... 
hopefully I can make it before it turns day. I'm trying to catch one of these guys too. Down on here somewhere. Okay, so I gotta wait till night time again. It's so funny singing over the Black Panther since it's already like my main pet, my main monster. Shout out that spell that turns uh, day to night and night to day. Things a lot. <laughs> hey kitty. Uh, lunch break right now, right? XP this game and this uh this group. <laughs> I 
I don't miss those days. <laughs> much work. Still have to go to the menu to, to click that, though. No? Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, grab this crap. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, wow. Um, a lot of use spells. Uh, it's not that good against them. <laughs> too bad. Yeah. Oh, he learned a new new attack. Yeah, I found it. Boom. Yeah, I need him to get buffer. He's gonna be he's gonna be one of my main guys, I think. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Forgot to grab it. Jeez, what's up with this? It's like big groups. That'd be decent speed with that many monsters out there, though. Apple's getting a lot of HP again. Ooh, he learned he learned a good spell there too. Good on me. Okay, so I can actually leave this area now. I got the spell I needed. The, the item I need to so, so. Hey Foo Foo Chicken! What's up? You uh did you get through that cave? <laughs> Are you still grinding? Okay, that's that's not bad, low fifties. Okay, okay. I remember him being really strong though, so okay, that's good. That's good to know too. That you can beat him in your low fifties. Yeah, that's that's really good. <laughs> so I guess you completed the game then at this point. It's really just um just grinding it out and catching all the, uh, or recruiting all the monsters now. Oh, man. But, um, yeah, I think, um, there is, like, some sort of special reward if you beat him in, like, a limited amount of turns, though. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a that's a pretty solid party. Can't remember what the reward was though. It's probably like some item or idol or something. Yeah, yeah, he he earns some big power ups each level, but it just like each level takes a while. Ooh, let's search clove. I don't think anyone on my team can wear that yet. Try to catch that one. Probably just gonna be on for about an hour or so, maybe, just to grind it out a little bit. <laughs> nice, nice. EQ 11's fun. I'm I'm pretty much done with the game. I think like some of my characters are still level 98, so I need to level up like one more time. But um, yeah, I'll I'll maybe look into it after I finish Dragon Quest V. But yeah, Dragon Quest XI was so a really good story, it's a really great game. I do want to revisit that too from the beginning. It's been, it's been at least like four year, four or five years since I played. Oh, that sounds fun too. I haven't played any of the Fire Emblem games, but like they all look really good. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta look at. I got some games like I haven't even opened yet um, on my PS4, so I'm gonna have to do that. Okay. <laughs> I remember them from like the Super Comic Con days, but just I never, never purchased them back then. Okay, okay. You can try to look into that too, maybe use an emulator. Oh, you did, kitty! Yeah, because, like, I wasn't... I didn't know too much about RPGs until, like later on, so it's like, you know, I didn't know what a JRPG was, it was just an RPG to me. Save the heal slot. <laughs> 70 cents an hour to play. <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> Back in the the back back in the nineties, we had um, there was a Japanese shop over here. It was like play Super Fun or Super Nintendo or Super Famicom games for like fifteen minutes for one dollar. That was in the nineties, though. Fire Emblem, like, 1 and 2. <laughs> There's another old game I liked in, um... on Super Nintendo. Oh, is there any NES game too for it? Oh my 
get this <laughs> You just lose the character if they die. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's a Super Nintendo game, like, my friend used to play that, that looked really fun, called, um, Lufia 2. I kind of want to play that game, but I don't know if I can handle the graphics. Or, you know, if they had a remake, if they did a remake of it or something, that would probably be worth playing. I do want to play like Final Fantasy VI again as well. I know Kitty's a huge fan on it. <laughs> um, I, I'm just, I'm just, um, yeah. I mean, I can, I can handle like, I can probably handle like Chrono Trigger. That'd be fine. I grew up on that at least. Um. I mean, like, even, even Dragon Quest V, I can probably still play the SNES version. I got it on my desk right here. Dragon Quest V. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think my cartridge is a little jacked up, though. So I don't think I can play the actual cartridge. I have to play the emulated version on that one. But um, I think like Kitty just got the remastered version, or what was it? the re re pixel version. No, this is a uh, this is Super Famicom. EQ5. Pixel remaster, yeah, that's what it's called. Um, but you said they're kind of hard to get right now, right? Like they're selling out every time they restock. <laughs> ah. But when it originally came to the US, it was just Final Fantasy 3, though. And so that's where all the confusion comes with like six and three. Okay, can easily get on play. Okay, I might do that. It's in. It's on what Switch? Do they have it on like PS4? I'll have to take a look later. Yeah, so I think Final Fantasy 3 was like the first real JRPG I played. Because my friend introduced me to it. And then um, from there... Okay, so it is on PS4, PC. Probably just get on PS4. Yeah, uh, I trust my PS4 the most, so I'll probably get I mean, yeah, I, I don't really want it on PC. I don't want, like, too many games on my PC. But, uh, yeah, so Final Fantasy 3 kind of started me, getting me into JRPGs, and then, um, my uncle was, a uh, was a gamer back in the day, too, so he, he gave me his Dragon Quest V, um, Dragon Warrior 3, Three and four for Nintendo. So I played all of those. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I still have my Dragon Warrior three and four, and I know they're like pretty valuable now. They're like, I think they go for like over a hundred bucks each now, like without the instruction book or anything. I'm not gonna sell them though. <laughs> part of my part of my collection. <laughs> and technically, they still belong to my uncle. <laughs> he, 
it, it wasn't that he gave him to me, it's more like he, uh, he let me borrow it long term. <laughs> so, I don't know. I could return it to him. In fact, this, yeah, this DQ5 copy is his too. <laughs> of course, I can always just buy my own copy in Japan next time. They're like, you know, it's probably like less than 10 bucks. But yeah, that re, um, the Pixel Remaster might be worth getting. Um, I bought, I remember I bought Final Fantasy 1 at the flea market. Um, probably like 15, 20 bucks back then. I did beat it, but, um, I didn't beat the, um, the stronger than last boss, secret boss. <laughs> like, like the robot or something. It's too strong. I think he like one shot all my characters. I'm not even sure if he was a boss, he was just like a random monster. I don't know. Yeah, it was just like, oh, what is this game? <laughs> it's like, this is new. I've never seen a game like this before. And then um, my friend tried to get me into another RPG. He had. It wasn't a JRPG. It was, um, it was just a regular RPG. I think it was called, like, Dragon Guard for Super Nintendo. But we just couldn't get into it. It was it was too different from Final Fantasy, <laughs> so we're just like, no, we're not doing this one. I had um yeah, I had a lot of Japanese friends growing up, so it's just like they all bought the Jap like the good Japanese games, all the Dragon Ball games. Um, oh, the Dragon Ball RPGs are pretty fun for Super Nintendo. Probably, yeah, I probably would play those. Those are fun. And then there's, um... There's this one specific one, um... That had that, like, my friend GX Cat and I, like... We, we were able to, like, find a bug in the game that would just, like... Give you, like, super, super, super strength, super powers. <laughs> um... Yeah, and it, it was just really crazy, so I want to try to recreate that. That'd, that'd be cool if I can do that on the stream, but I'll probably just do it off first, and then um, once I can recreate that, I'll, I'll actually do it on the stream. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can actually recreate it, though. I don't remember the exact steps. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I would have to like back back then I would have to like trade with my friends who like went to Japan more often than I did. Um and then and then my uncle would just like let me borrow some and give me some of his games. <laughs> Mega Man, huh? <laughs> was there much to translate in that game, though? It just like... I mean, the older versions, was there even really a story? <laughs> I know, like, the, um, the later versions, like, kind of have, like, a little storyline. Okay, I, I didn't realize that. I remember um, my friend.
friend bought me like Mega Man 8, I think, for NES, and that was like the first Mega Man I actually played. It was, it was pretty good. I think Super Nintendo was out by then at that time, but um, yeah, that Mega Man still held up though. Like the graphics compared to like SNES games, it was still like pretty decent. I think I ended up selling it to GameStop. <laughs> and I probably got really chipped at GameStop too. <laughs> And then I think um, in middle school was when Pokemon came out for Game Boy, red and blue. Yeah, Mega Man music was really good too. Oh, cool! I got the the dancing imp. You can go. Yeah, I got I got really into Pokemon though in middle school, so I got uh, I think I got the red version, and then right before I got into high school, I think silver and gold came out, and uh, I bought the Japanese version of silver first. Mega Man X1 through X3. I, I I don't even know which ones those ones are. I don't, I'm not even sure if I played those. Yeah, I was around. Let's see, it was it came out what 96 or something. So yeah, I guess we're around the same age probably then. The um, yeah, I was 11 then. I didn't um. I had. Let's see. I had a Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance SP, but I didn't have it in time for when um, Ruby Sapphire came out. So I didn't play it when it originally came out, but I borrowed it from a friend like many years afterwards, and then I beat it. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah, I think Fire Red and Leaf Green came out after that, and then that's and then I bought that. Um, my mom went to Japan at that time, and then I asked her to get me one. Um, she got me Fire Red. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing though, like. In middle school, it was like easy to do. It's just like everyone was doing it. But then it's like when I got to high school, it's like not many, not many people are playing Pokemon anymore. So it's like oh, I'm playing by myself at that point. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe Pokemon cards, but I don't know about the actual the games, the handheld games. I think. Um, like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I think you can just trade it online with like random people, right? I haven't tried doing that yet. I know, I think the new new expansion just came out too, but I don't I don't know if I'm gonna get into it. Maybe maybe some other time. Yeah, that 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 makes it convenient at least. Like if you want to complete your Pokedex. all these um introverts that don't want to talk to other people <laughs> just go online and <laughs> just uh trade with random people online without saying a word yeah we used to um we used to do pokemon battles though back in middle school that was fun I didn't, um, that's funny, I, I, I kind of just skipped, let's see, okay, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I stopped playing basically after, like, Fire Red, um, and then 
the next one I got after that ended up getting was Pokemon X. And then I am I beat that. And then I ended up buying Pokemon Sun. I played like a couple hours and I just couldn't I just couldn't continue. And so I like stopped playing for like maybe six, seven years. <laughs> and I just finished I just picked it back up like two years ago and then finished it finally. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's yeah, Pokemon Sun Moon it was like yeah, they didn't have real gyms or anything, so it was just like I kinda lost interest. <laughs> And then I kind of skipped Sword and Shield, but I just recently, um, I just recently bought Sword, but it's still in its, uh, it's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> but I did want to play, I did want to try out Scarlet Violet, because I heard it was, like, completely open world, so, like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. So, it was, it was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. Of course, I went, like, out of order. I just, like, grinded really hard at the beginning, and then I kill I defeated, like, the, the last gym, um, gym leader first. <laughs> and I went, went, like, the opposite way. So that was kind of fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, like, I grinded to, like, level 50 or something, and I was like, okay, finally, I'll go do my first gym battle. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a little, it was like the last one. I was like, I'll I'll do the other side quests first. I'll power up my um Coridon so I can like fly and stuff. Um, I didn't really like enjoy the music of Scarlet Violet that much. Like, I prefer like I, I'm so used to the old Pokemon's like that. That's the tune I like to listen to. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't think of any, like, from, straight up from, uh, Scarlet Violet. Okay, that, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know, it was just... Scarlet Violet has its own theme, and then just like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really my jam or anything. I assume, I assume Violet has the same music, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't played that version at all. I mean, I'm 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 so used to like the the Game Boy <laughs> the Game Boy music. So it's just like that when I think of Pokemon, that's what I think of the Game Boy version, the old old school Game Boy version. What's funny was um when I was in um when I was in Japan earlier this year, I was at the Pokemon Center. And they had the Pokemon theme in the back, in the background, and it was, um, but it was all played by Pikachu. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, that's actually awesome, I want to get that song. I, I haven't, I haven't been able to find it yet, though, online. It might just be, like, copyrighted to Pokemon, the Pokemon company, and they haven't released it. I remember, I, I vaguely remember the music from, um, from Silver. Uh, I, I'd still say old school red and blue, that's like the most nostalgic. So just like when I think of Pokemon, that's like the most iconic song, like the, the BGM. Honestly, like I can't even remember what, um, what Ruby and Sapphire sound like at all. This has been so long since I played. I have like you know I I recently bought black and white black and white too but I just haven't played them yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Versus Gary, it's like the boss music. <laughs> it's like oh he's the final boss. <laughs> I'll I'll eventually play them. Um, I ended up, I bought the Japanese versions because they were like. They were like 25% of the US version, so I was like, yeah, that's fine, I can, I can read Japanese. Especially if it's on, like, DS, there probably won't be that much kanji anyways. But yeah, it was a good deal, so I just bought, like, um... 
I bought like the old a lot of the old Pokemon games, black and white, uh, both black and white, black and white um, too as well. I bought some um, I bought some old Dragon Quest games too. I bought a. Uh... Oh, hold on. Oh, I got Pokemon Omega Ruby. I got Pokemon. A pearl I bought a long time ago. Okay. And what was that? Dragon Quest. Oh, I got Dragon Quest Four. Yeah, I got Dragon Quest Four on DS. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if I can. I, I don't have anything to to capture that though to stream. Yeah, yeah, um, Pokemon, Pokemon games though, they're still kind of expensive, like, honestly, I think Pokemon and Dragon Quest games for, like, the DS and handheld versions were pretty expensive. Um, because I wanted Dragon Quest Eight for 3DS, but it was, like, used, used it was still, like, I think it was, like, 8,000 yen or something. But, yeah, I mean, certain games, though, like, the not so popular ones, of course, or the ones they produced a lot of, they're pretty damn cheap. I mean, if you want to look for Super Super Famicom games, like, yeah, you can find like all these Dragon Ball titles for like basically five USD. <laughs> no, no, um, no booklet or box or anything. If you want the booklet and box, it'll, it'll cost a little bit more. Really. For 3DS? I didn't... I don't know. I, I haven't seen that. It's like, they have it on Switch, right? Um, but yeah, 3DS? Can the 3DS actually play it? That'd be interesting. Take a look the next time, alright? I'll, I'll search it online, at least. Oh, okay. That's so like, they, um... I guess they downgraded it a little bit, right? <laughs> but that that'd be interesting to play though. I'll take a look afterwards on I'll, I'll like Google and see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I heard the um the English version GX Cat keeps saying that the English version of DQ um DQ11 has um uh, voice acting. It's like, I don't know, even with the voice acting, it's just like, ah, I, I don't know if I want to hear, like, the English dub of it. <laughs> like, Dragon Quest characters are known never to really speak. <laughs> they have, what, for the... For the Switch? You mean for the Japanese Switch version, maybe? Because my PS4 version, they don't talk. At least I don't think they talked. Oh, okay. Oh man, I have to go buy that now? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. The, the Japanese version does have it, but you just gotta get the deluxe version for Switch. Probably like a collector's item now, too. I'll take a look. If it's If it's priced reasonably, maybe I'll take a look and get it. <laughs> yeah, I got so many games I still haven't played them. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I bought all those new po the old Pokemon games, I gotta play that, right? Um, I did want to play Dragon Quest IV, and that's why I bought the uh, the DS version. But, you know, if I wanna if I wanna stream it, then I would have to, like... I think it'd be better if I just got the PlayStation 1 version emulated or something. I think that'd be tolerable playing on PS1. Uh, Dragon Quest 4. I 
Okay, yeah. You're make you're really making me want to get it now. <laughs> I'll have to yeah, I'll have to look into it after now. <laughs> yeah, see if it's affordable. Good shot. Yeah, okay. I don't have, yeah, I don't have that many switch games. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, if I was going to stream, it would just be the PS4 version, so unfortunately I don't have the uh, voice voicing. I wonder, um, how are the graphics on the Switch, though? Is it comparable to, like, PS4, Xbox, PC? I guess I can probably just Google and look at the difference, see how the quality is. A little worse? Okay. Yeah, a little, little small little dinky cartridge versus uh, a CD. Okay, that's not too bad. Then. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to take a look online just to compare if it's really worth it. Like right now, right now I just try to get everything on PS4 and then now it's like, okay, PS4 is getting pretty old and, you know, Sony's really pushing everyone to get a PS5, so it's like, should I think about getting a PS5 now? <laughs> Eventually, gonna they're gonna stop making games for PS4, right? You're gonna you're gonna have to make the hop over to PS5 if you want to keep playing the new games. Save it. Save it. Oh. Oops. I think I have money to buy some here too. Um, so I have a PS5 controller. I bought it to try and play my panel attack game, but I'm not, at least for panel attack, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's, it's pretty heavy. It's, yeah, it's heavy, but I haven't tried using it for like, I haven't tried using it for other games yet, so I don't know. I do like the feel of the PS4 controller, so like in comparison, the PS4 just feels a lot, a lot more comfortable. Um, it's it's um, it feels a lot tougher, rougher. But the thing is, maybe I haven't broken it in yet, so maybe that's the reason. But I might have to kind of break it in a little more before like I can really give a a good review of it. But for specifically for my panel game, it was just like way too stiff and too sensitive. Like it's stiff, but it was just like yeah, it just makes me like zoom around. That's like yeah, I can't I can't play with this. Yeah, yeah, the rumble is actually pretty uh, pretty decent though. Yeah, all the um all the Sony controllers like those are those are my favorite. cheap to buy <laughs> and you feel the vibrations right <laughs> come back here and forget the offer That's all. yeah so uh one of these days I'll get a PS5. I think Kitty has a PS5. He's got what Street Fighter? Did you get Street Fighter Six, Kitty? <laughs> Controller feels like it's raining. <laughs> yeah, you have um, you have Street Fighter Six, right? Or you're thinking of getting it? I'm 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can keep up with people in Street Fighter anymore. Yeah, you do have it. Oh, on Steam, so I'm um, I'm um, um, PC or Steam Deck. When I was in um, when I was in Japan in April, they were at the Camp uh, Capcom store. They were doing like the demos of uh, Street Fighter Six. It looked really good, but just I don't know if I can play it. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because like if you if you get on any if you get on Sony PlayStation Five, you have to play for the uh, the network, right? For like fifty bucks a year. Actually, kind of makes sense. You don't want to play that just for like one game. Yeah, I I could not do uh, I could not do Street Fighter Five. I played it like. Maybe like 30 minutes, and then I'll just like, yeah, it's not the same, and I just like put it down. <laughs> four, I felt like four was a lot better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like if you're not gonna play other games on PlayStation on online using the online function, then it doesn't really make sense, right? Yeah, Street Fighter V, it just, the controls just didn't feel the same to me, so I just like, I, I just couldn't do it. I just went back to Street Fighter IV instead. And now, now I don't even touch my PS, uh, PS3, it just like kind of sits there. I do have like, I do have some good games on it though, so... Maybe one of these days I'll get a capture card and then I'll play those. I bought, um, yeah, I bought some just like random RPG games while I was in Japan for PS4 as well. Um, some like anime ones, but I just haven't had time to play them yet. I hope to I hope to be able to play them sometime. Oh, and then I bought um, Tales of Destiny one and two for PlayStation two as well. So maybe I'll play this. As well. I played Tales of Destiny one back on the PlayStation a long time ago, but I never really beat it. I didn't, I didn't get that far, actually, but my brother beat the game, so... I'll, I'll try to give it a, I'll give it a try. Oh, and I bought Dragon Quest VIII as well on PS2 while I was in Japan. So, that, yeah, that, I never actually, I never played Dragon Quest VIII, so I'll, I'll have to play that. And maybe that'll be the next game I play, basically, after Dragon Quest. Let's see. 11 o'clock. You know what? I think I'll just go ahead and... Um, I'll go learn the spell now. Get to the next area really quick. Oh shoot, I was gonna buy gear too. Oh well, I'm back for you. Here to the back. Town's always confusing.
way. <laughs> um, now it's over there. Okay, now I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> it was okay. Um, uh, what the heck? Oh, it's down there. It's down there. Okay. So confused. This part in the old SNES version got like me and my brother so confused. We we're just like, what are we supposed to do next? We didn't, under we didn't understand the part that we have to go to that area at nighttime to see the, the plant. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, it's not always obvious where to go, but it's a lot better than the SNES version. Now I can go. Yeah, the, the SNES version was like, there weren't as many indicators of where to go as well, so it's just like, you can get stuck for a while. But I guess, yeah, if you played this, um, if this was, yeah, the first one, if this was the first time playing the game, then yeah, it might have been kind of hard to, um, to get around. Okay, so now, now that I'm here, I don't remember where the heck I go anymore. <laughs> um, I'll figure it out. I, I think I go back to the castle, and then he gives me a boat now? I think that's what it was. I'm just kind of taking a guess. Oh, fine. Oh, cool. Hey, Newsy. Welcome to my actual live stream. Playing some JRPGs right now. Go into the castle. I go... I think I get the boat now. Hey? Pretty sure that's what I'm getting the That's been so long, can't remember. A Bud Henry, right? Oh, he's not here. He's upstairs, huh? I think I get the boat and then I have to go to the town with the huge tower. My buddy Henry. Go oh, on, come on. I just want my boat. I don't care about this guy anymore, he left my party. the kanji that well so <laughs> I'm like oh uh, where did I go again I'll figure it out um 
Okay. Letter from Henry. Did he just leave the boat for me already? Well, it's time for... serves me right. I think I just guess. Hmm. Ooh, more slime knights. <laughs> oh crap, they're like script, you know what? Damn, they didn't die. You guys are still buff. So I got three of them in the party. <laughs> rest for free over here. Yes. <laughs> so, save one more time really quick and then try to figure out where the heck I'm going next. Lisa Garland. Okay. Dragon Quest is, yeah, since my childhood has been like one of my favorite games, the series. Talk to the old geezer again. <laughs> I played um, the original Silent Hill um, back in the the mid nineties. <laughs> that was scary as shit because I was only like eleven. <laughs> I think that game has scarred me for life, so I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to play those games again. Oh, he's learning something. Okay, no. Not me. 
Um, yeah, Silent Hill. Um, I only played Silent Hill 1, and then I basically watched my friend play Silent Hill 3. That one's that one was pretty good. But, I don't know, that game kind of freaked me out. <laughs> hey, Ken, you made it too. Getting all the, the panel gang over here. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to remember where I'm supposed to go now. I think they created the bridge? Panel. <laughs> Kitty who lives on the other side of the world. <laughs> I can finally, I can finally use Luda, Ken, and so I'm just trying to remember where the heck I'm supposed to go next. Ruler. I think they just call it, in the English version, they just call it Return. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow everything up. Oh, crap. Why do we have to separate all the enemies? They've been trolling me. Blew everything up. It's like how I blew everything up with the rocket launcher yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Fufu is on. Um, I think he's still in here. So Fufu finally beat. Uh, Dragon Quest V, and I told him about the secret boss, and it looks like he beat him. That's a good level up. Where the heck am I going? F. But, yeah, I thought I was supposed to get the boat next. Can't recall. Oh, Ken knows Lisa Garland. Um, I never really posted- I never really streamed before, just, um... I just figured I'd just start streaming. <laughs> Dira Mito is the um is the escape dungeon spell. Duda is to um to uh, travel to different towns. Ducking, ducking her question mark up. Duck, duck. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a little more comical that way, right, with the rocket launcher. Um, where am I going now? Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation was like my favorite. And so I was glad they I was happy that they remade it for PS4. Yeah, Resident Evil 3, um well the thing about Resident Evil 3 is even the PlayStation version wasn't like that great. <laughs> It just, um, yeah, people, I think people just want to play Resident Evil 3 because, um, Jill, Jill comes back into the game from the original Resident Evil 1, so. 
that's what made it popular maybe like back then but it was like it was too easy i guess Guys are strong. They're like kicking my ass. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch me die here soon. You know what? I'm gonna. I, I don't wanna die. I'm gonna. Yep. <laughs> It's like they spell it like small, like S M O L L. <laughs> small. Dude. <laughs> Sci fi man. <laughs> kind of look like him, right? It's not surprising because it's the um, same artist, right? Small. Dude. Yeah, it's like back in the 90s, it's like Toriyama was like, he was the guy. <laughs> It's nice that, you know, they're doing more Dragon Ball, but at the same time it's just like this I don't I don't know. I couldn't get into the story for Dragon Ball Super. You know, just like no. Not my thing. It's a metal rider. Yeah, I was thinking like I, I felt like I've caught one of those back in SNES, but when I like go look it up online, they're not recruitable monsters. So I don't know if I was like dreaming or something. Heck, you know, <laughs> yeah, you would expect it to give you like a bunch of it. But you know, you get to kill the king, the metal kings though, in that final area. Wish you could recruit one of those, that'd be awesome. That would kill trying to remember what the heck I'm supposed to do here. Opposite of metal slimes? Dancing jewels. I mean the, the jewel bags? Oh, yeah, 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 the, the golden, like, the brownish gold ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they give, like, they don't give that much gold, was it? Wasn't it, like, 500 or something? Or was it, like, a pound? Yeah, I just remember it's, like, way more than, like, the typical ones. Yeah, something like that. There was um in the in the last zone there was like those um centaur the golden centaurs guys that give also a decent amount of gold. I think.
Remember, um, with some connection. Gold man. There, were there special monsters in DQ1? I can't even remember. I just remember the NES version. Oh, they they did, okay. Okay, so I don't think I was supposed to be here yet. Catch one of those. Oh crap! Maybe not. <laughs> I can catch one of these guys. No, I had one of these guys in my party. Not get lucky. Yeah, they're pretty strong. I remember. Um, I don't think they have any MP. Though. Strong attack. Still trying to remember what the heck I'm supposed to do next. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to replay Dragon Quest XI though. <laughs> Only humans, right? Yeah, I teleported to Old Area and then I talked to Henry. I thought he was supposed to give me a boat, but yeah, a, a, he told me to go look into the treasure box, uh, the treasure chest, and then um, I didn't go speak to him after me. Let's do. Let's go back there. Oh, and then um, <laughs> yeah, three slime knights. I know. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. Um, actually, I want to get the save points for the other two towns in this area, too. Talk to Henry. Talk to Henry earlier. Because slime knights are like the best, man. <laughs> it's like they're yeah. It's like you don't have to, um, you know, they're they're pretty good for end game, so you don't really have to switch them out or anything. Oh yeah, I was supposed to come back to him. Anything just like an, an item for the oh, it's missing it. Yeah. I know he gives me the boat. Look at the description though, it just says Henry to Mario no Kekkon Kine. Ooh. 
Oops. Oh, it's like the first time I stepped outside. Up resed. to the other towns area get the trigger event or something I might have to google it later crooked I think it'd be easy travel over here The uh, the cheap version of the bag you were talking about. <laughs> Do I want another brownie? <laughs> no, go away. <laughs> yeah, I remember in this version you have to like go outside, <laughs> otherwise you smack your head. Like the only exception was like the first time you use it. <laughs> Wanna get this place? I think I can travel to Santa Rose now. Yes, look at that. I did. Yeah, the waste of uh, MP, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really expensive in this one. And then, like, yeah, in 6, it's only 1 MP to cast Luda. Now I got... There's someone I need to talk to here. Can I go into the bar? I still can't go outside. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I can pick up bottles. Terrorizing this place. <laughs> yeah, isn't there someone I'm supposed to talk to or something? I'm trying to remember. Now, like, I'm supposed to look for Bianca. supposed to buy the, the world map or something right here Is that what you're supposed to do tell her you don't want alcohol I'm flying back <laughs>
<laughs> I hate these drinks are in the way. Oh yeah, she does really. Okay, yeah. This was a triggered event. This is supposed to, I think, trigger an event, though. Inside there. Two shiny treasure chests. I think that's supposed to trigger an event there. Nice. Now where the heck do I go? <laughs> um, I do want to come back here. I think at night time. Check if they sell anything new. Cheaper. Okay. Bye. Kuru kuru ya no. Then no ka. Then no ka. Okay. What the deed? Do <laughs> video? Okay, no, it's an item. Oh wow, that my slime can work. Yeah, I don't know what a noden is. <laughs> Apparently, it's a equipable item. And it was really good for my slime, actually. Hmm, but that wasn't what I was looking for. <laughs> I feel like, let's see... I'm gonna have to talk to someone. Let's pull with the original version content. Added to the switch version. Okay. Okay, that's how you see. Um, hmm. Where the heck do I go now? Oops. I feel like I'm supposed to go back to Henry or something. Okay. 
see. Where, what am I missing right now? What? Come on. Get a free, free night's sleep. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be there. Maybe it was the ship or something over there. That would actually make sense to you. Check it out. I think, yeah, I think that might have been it. I, was, I might have been mistaken getting my own ship now. That might have Okay. Okay, so Noodlemon's the guy I'm supposed to see, though. That's... <laughs> yeah, just... Um... Oh, hold on, come on. Ship. Do I need that? <laughs> For a thousand gold? Okay, I'll buy it. Feel like um feel like I got gypped. That's it. This is question mark. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was a yeah. I never. I don't think I ever got that before. I got like all these items that I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with. Yeah, it's a ship in a bottle. It's like, what am I supposed to do with it though? Oh man, I just spent like four thousand gold on on random stuff. Um. Okay. So. They haven't built the bridge yet, right? Oh, am I? Um, they haven't built that bridge. What I was looking for. Hold on. Um, I don't think I want to go down to the town. <laughs> down there too. <laughs> Don't go to the other port, right? The original one? No, I don't think so. I think I'm done with this town, right? Here. So are we supposed to go? I thought they were supposed to like make a little bridge or something. 
go to the next area. Hmm, paralyzed. EQ3, you make the bridge too. Oh, no, no, okay. No, I think it's straight down here, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was just straight down here. For some reason, the map made it look like it was a mountain. And then I gotta go see Ludolam so that I can use the shit. Yeah, I was like looking on the map and I was like, isn't that just all mountain? And it's like, no, you just it's a desert next to the mountain. That makes sense. Look at that. It looked like it looked like it was the mountain that was connected to the desert. That's why I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, all my all my slime knights have full heal now. Oh, these guys are strong. Charge at you, give you a lot of damage. Oh my god, 33 damage. I need to oh okay, yeah actually. Hopefully the next town has better gear, because I didn't buy the best gear like at the earlier town. But maybe I saved some. Those yeah, those guys. <laughs> a lot of the a lot of the monsters in this game look really funny. Railgun? How do you like it? I wasn't bored, so it's good so far. Um, I'm still more of the... I still like the main series index more than Railgun. But apparently in Japan, Railgun was more popular. The side, <laughs> the side anime. Or the spin-off was more popular than the main anime. It's probably just because the main character is a girl. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I I, I liked Index more than Railgun. Shiny. Oh, like that. Another metal. Okay, so sometimes it is still worth coming into the wells. <laughs> You're still only in the first season? Oh man, I thought you would like be done with the series by now. Fifty. I'm just gonna kill a couple more monsters and then I think I'm gonna call it a night because I have to go through that cave to get to the next town. So I'll do that right now. I like seeing the killer panthers though. So cool. I 
I don't think I finished the third season of Railgun yet. I think I only finished the second, and I haven't watched Accelerator yet. I watched it. I watched all of Index so far. I hope they come out with a, with a fourth season. I have not. Yeah, um, I think Jeff said Fate's Day Night was a really good one. But yeah, I haven't watched any of them. And then, like, there's so many of them now, you have to look up, like, what order you're supposed to watch them in. I really, it's pretty badly rated. I think he recommended this to me when we were in college, so... You know, that was like 15 years ago. <laughs> oh crap, I'm like dying. Um, oh shit. Not good. to be the same story told differently. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna start that though. I still need to um still need to watch the new um Dragon Quest Dino Die Vulcan. Series ended, right? Assuming. I already know what happens, but it'd be nice to watch it animated. The the game for Dino Die Vulcan looked like it was gonna it looked pretty decent too. I don't know if I'll play it though. Mages are kinda strong. Ooh, level twenty four, nice. Up there. Okay, let's do one more group and then <laughs> yeah, about right. And Fufu, Fufu Chicken said, um, you can be S Stark at like low 50s. There's um any anime that I recommend to watch that yet if you haven't watched before you watch uh, Steins Gate. That one's that one's a really good Yeah, that's pretty impressive. I, I thought you had to be like a lot stronger than that, but at least it'd be struggle if you weren't. Okay, that's good to know. But I think it is that, yeah, you have to be a little bit higher to beat him faster so that you get like the an item or something from him. I just remember like he had heavy attacks and he attacked like two or three times sometimes. Oh, the FF7 bosses are tough too. Okay guys, well thanks for watching the stream. Um, if I have time tomorrow night I'll be on again, but we'll see. But thanks for, thanks for supporting. <laughs> Back to work kitty, working hard or hardly working. <laughs> thanks for coming, Foo Foo Chicken. Thanks, Kitty, Ken, and, uh, and Newsy. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys. Good night.